we are going to be taking a look at every single car on a Destiny trip to figure out which one is the best. Let's get right into this. So I currently own every single car in the game and we're going to be testing every single one of these to see which ones you should buy and which ones that are not worth buying at all. And we'll start off with the classic car, the van, and the inferno car right here. So we're going to be testing all of these cars on the plains map just because the plains map has like no obstacles so it's very easy to test the max speed. But anyway, here's the classic car right here but anyway, we're going to test this by driving all the way to a thousand meters. So the speed on this car is quite slow. It is much slower than all the other cars. I believe this is the slowest car in the game. It looks like it does max out at 80 kilometers. Well, for this car, we are able to swap out the engines. So if you find like a tier 2 engine or a V8 engine, we could always just swap it out and it will go much faster. And I believe this car does use a lot more fuel than the van, which the van is also a free-to-play car. So this car and the van are the cars that you start with. They're completely started cars, free-to-play. So I would probably recommend the van over this. Anyway, let's check the gas. And it only has 4.3 liters of gas. That is terrible. I filled it up all the way to 9 liters liters and it already used nearly 5 liters of gas just to make it to 1000 meters. So that is terrible. I was going to put this car in the C tier, but to be honest, I'm just going to toss this car in the F tier. Now for the van. So if you're on the plains map, you'll find the van in this building over here, but if you're on the desert map, then you'll find it behind the house. But anyway, the van is a little bit different because the engine actually goes in the middle, which we are low on oil because it uses the same engine as the sedan. But anyway, let's turn it on and now let's start driving. So the van is better than that car back there for many reasons. First of all, it's a lot bigger, so you can attach a lot more things to the side and also it can fit more people in the middle and also it goes pretty fast like as you can see we're already going 120 so the classic car back there maxes out at 80 but this one actually maxes out at 120 of course they both go a lot faster if you put a different engine in but anyway we did just make it to a thousand meters so let's pull this and start slow down and now let's check our gas so as you can see we made it to a thousand meters and we only used 0.2 liters of gas which is very good the classic car back there used nearly five liters but this one only used 0.2 so its gas consumption is also very good. So I would put the van in the A tier, which is the best because I use the van all the time because it's super reliable. And even though I own every car in the game, I even sometimes use the van as well because the van is super reliable and there are like no glitches with it. Now for the flame truck right here. And now on for all the cars that we look at, they will come with their own engine and radiator as well. So the flame truck right here is only good if you use these big wheels. If you use the regular small wheels that come with like the classic car right there or the van, then this car would be terrible. The flame truck is only good with the big wheels, which you get the big wheels from that little place right there and it's the same on the desert map as well the biggest downside to the flame truck is the view like this is the view right here we can barely see anything the flame truck does actually go pretty fast which is quite nice so as you see we already passed 160 and it's still going up also for the rest of the cars that we look at you don't want to switch out the engines such as if we find a v8 engine we don't want to swap it out because this engine right here is actually much faster but as you see we made it to 1.5 thousand meters and we only used 0.6 liters of gas that is very good so i really like using the flame truck i would put the flame truck in an A tier because it is a really good car. Now for the Kia truck. So the Kia truck is actually a free to play car. It was actually available to buy for caps. I think like 2.5 thousand caps. You were able to buy this right here. So the Kia truck is also the only car in the game where you drive on the right side of the car because it's like a Japanese type car, I believe, which I actually haven't used this car too much. I actually only tried out this car like two times before. It does go a lot faster than I thought. So it looks like it maxes out at like 150. So it's decent. It's not as fast as the van because the van, once you put the VA and engine in it it does go pretty quick but i guess this car is kind of decent it does go pretty fast if you use it on the desert map then it's not too good because it's not too good at going up and down hills anyway we made it to 2000 meters so let's check it so it used 0.8 liters of gas that's actually very good because we travel like double the distance as all the other cars so yeah the gas consumption is pretty good it doesn't use too much so it is a little bit different to flip over because as we can see it's at like this weird angle it is definitely possible to flip back over but it is a lot more difficult than other cars but anyway i would put this car in the c tier just because overall it's like not that good compared to other cars now for the suv but anyway the suv right here is pretty much the exact same as the van it just like looks cooler that's why i say anytime someone asks me about it because there's nothing too special about it it's pretty much like the same size and like shape as the van and overall these stats are pretty much the same as the van as well but overall i would put this car in the b tier now for the stinger car so this car you could actually get for free to play you were actually able to get a few updates ago you just had to be in the game whenever it updated and then if you did that you would get this vehicle right here so it was actually possible to get as free to play but it's no longer available to get which i don't think i tested this car out before like it's actually going pretty fast as well and overall it actually doesn't seem too bad so it is very easy to flip over if you take too sharp of a turn then it will very easily flip over and we let's see and dang it uses a lot of gas and it's still going down pretty quickly so it used about eight liters of gas in 2000 meters it is still going down because the engine is still on so it used eight liters of gas in 2000 meters that is terrible which i was actually going to put this car in 
the B tier because it actually seemed pretty good, but it absolutely drains your gas. So I was going to put it in the B tier, but now it's going all the way down to the F tier. Now for the wagon. So this is the wagon car right here, which I kind of forgot how I got this car. I think you get it from the season pass. So it looks like it does max out at 109, which actually isn't that bad. And let's check the gas and no, that is terrible. It used about 5 liters gas and only in a thousand meters. It is still going down right now because the engine is still on and it's absolutely terrible. And once again, I was going to give this car a B tier, but it's going all the way down to an F tier because the gas consumption on this car is terrible. Now let's test out the helicopter. So the helicopter right here is not really a car, but it is a vehicle. And you do get this from the season pass. It is very rare, but the helicopter is much different. So the only thing you need for the helicopter is gas because there is no engine or radiator. So just fill it up with gas and then you're pretty much good. But anyway, you turn it on, you wait a few seconds for it to charge up and then you use E to go up, Q to go down and then WASD to move forward. So then we'll let it start flying. So the helicopter is much different because you are able to fly over everything. So you don't really need to worry too much about what's going on the ground. Also it displays everything you need to know on here. Like it displays your altitude, your speed, which it does max out at 100 kilometers per hour, which is actually quite slow because most cars go a lot faster than this. In my opinion, it's very boring to use because all you do is hold down W. You do slowly start to drift downwards. So you do have to click E to go up every now and then. And also you can't just go AFK because you do still lose hunger. So you do have to still stop at buildings every now and then to eat some food. So overall, I would give this a B tier because it is good, but it is very boring. So I wouldn't really recommend using it. Now for the classic bus. So this is the classic bus right here, which right off the bat, I'm going to say that this is not very good. The only thing good about it is that it comes with an extra canister of gas. So right here, nine liters. And then the only other good thing about it is the radiator and engine, because these are a little bit different because these actually hold 50 liters. So it holds 50 liters of water and then 50 liters of oil, which is actually quite crazy. So if I were planning on using like the van over there, then I would probably equip this car right here. And then I would take the radiator out and then I would put the radiator in the van over there just so we can have 50 liters of water. And anyway, let's start driving and let's see how fast we go. And the little speed thing down there is broken. It's going like the opposite way it's supposed to. So yeah, we can't really see how fast we're going. I think we are going like only 80 kilometers per hour. That's the same speed as the classic sedan because we definitely are not zooming right now. Also, if you flip over in this car, it is like nearly impossible to flip it back over unless they fix that, but I kind of doubt they did. But anyway, let's check our gas and we use nearly four liters of gas and only in a thousand meters. That's not very good. But overall, it's not very good. So I would put it in the C tier. Now for the classic Jeep. So this was also available during the classic event, which if you collected all five tokens during the classic event, you'd have actually got this for free. So if you did that, check your garage inventory and you actually might have this right here. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, this car is not good. This car right here would probably get the C tier. But if you do the engine glitch on this car right here, then it is pretty good. Or if you fill it up with a little bit of gas, and then if you grab the free to play engine and put it in there, not the engine that comes with it, but the engine that comes over there with the sedan. And then if you grab a gun, such as the minigun right here or a pistol, and if you destroy the engine, it actually goes pretty fast. So let's toss it back in, close our backpack, and now if you start driving, it's pretty good. Make sure you don't put the radiator in. That glitch right there will not work if you toss the radiator in. And now that we did the glitch, we'll go super fast. So this car does max out at like 60 or 80 kilometers. But if you do that glitch right there, it does not max out at all. So by doing that glitch, it gives us infinite water, oil, and gas. So we don't have to fill up on those at all. Also, you are able to do that glitch with like any car in the game, but it does work best with the Jeep. Also, if you flip over in this car, it does have auto flip, meaning that if you flip over, the car will automatically grab itself. So I would give this car an A tier, but if they fix that bug, then it would go all the way down in C tier. But anyway, let's go and check out the next car. The next car that we're going to be looking at is the brand new monster truck. But anyway, this is the monster truck right here. To get inside, we gotta actually jump up on the wheels. Also, the wheels are not removable, such as the wheels are already attached to the car when we join the game, and we aren't able to remove them, which does actually really stink, because it would be pretty cool to detach these wheels and attach them to like the van or something, but we actually aren't able to do that, so that does really stink. But anyway, let's go ahead and start driving. So this car does go decently fast. It's not like the fastest car in the game, but it does go around like 100 kilometers per hour. Well, the main downside to this truck is that it's very easy to flip over. But it looks like we did get the second bug. So there are a lot of downsides to using the monster truck, such as the first one. If you hit like anything too hard, you don't even have to hit it very hard. If you like even tap a tree, it's pretty likely that the wheel will glitch and go inside it like this, which you can't even fix this because you can't detach the wheel and replace it. So 
if this happens, so you just have to restart the whole game. And you gotta be very careful because sometimes it happens even if you touch something. So you don't even have to hit it hard. If you just like touch it, the wheel glitches and goes inside like this. Also, the monster truck flips over very easily. Like if you hit like even a single pebble on the ground, the whole car will flip over. So even though this car looks really cool, it is by far the worst car in the game. It's even worse than the classic car. And also whenever it flips over, it's impossible to flip it back over. So this is going in the F tier. It's by far the worst car in the game. Also, just to save some time, I'll go ahead and speed through a few cars. So the camper van right here, this is going to go in the C tier because it's the exact same as the classic bus right here. It just looks a little bit different. Also, similar to the classic bus, if you flip this car over, it's nearly impossible to flip it back over. And then the ATV right here, this is also going in the F tier because this car is super bad. Like, no one uses this car right here. Also, it's super small, so there's like nowhere to attach things. So if you want to attach some gas canisters, you maybe attach like three to it and you have like no protection. So you can easily get like struck by lightning or you can easily get like shot up by people or attacked by mutants. So overall, this car is going in the F tier. It's not good at all. The next cars that we're going to be looking at are all these ones right here. So these are all of these sports cars. These are all pretty much the exact same car. They just look a little bit different. So these stats on this car are all the same. I don't even know the difference between them anymore because the only thing different about them is the looks. So all these sports cars are going in their own tier because they're all like exactly the same. There's nothing special about them. Whenever someone asks me about one of these sports cars, I just say I don't even know because they're all just like copy and paste and they're going in between B and C because they're just like middle. They're not like the worst cars in the game, but they're also not the best cars in the game. Overall, I wouldn't really recommend getting them. So this is the F1 car right here, which the F1 car is actually pretty decent. Many people don't use the F1 car itself, but many people do use the engine because the engine that comes with the F1 car is actually the fastest engine in the game. So what many people do is they just take the engine from the F1 car and then they toss in a different car. But overall, the F1 car isn't that bad. So if you use the F1 car itself, it's actually pretty good. It does go super fast. So just right here, we're already going like 170. So this car by itself, it does go pretty fast, but this car right here overall is not that bad. Like we're already going like 250 right now, which is quite insane. And we haven't even done any glitches, which we were going too fast that we ended up flipping over. But this car does actually have auto flip. So if you flip over like this, if you just wait a few seconds, the car will automatically correct itself. Also, by the way, that's pretty much the same for all of these sports cars. So all of these sports cars that I showed y'all, most of those do have auto flip as well. So if you flip over in them, they will automatically correct itself. So overall, this car is getting an A tier because this car is very good. The car itself is really good. And also the engine is really good as well. So overall, this car is going in the A tier. The last car that we're going to be looking at is the Royal Rover. So we're not going to be testing this one in game just because it's super bad. So the Royal Rover right here. So even though it looks similar to the SUV right here, it is not the same. If you join the Destiny Trip Discord server, if you ask anyone about this car, they'll say that's the worst car in the game. I kind of forgot why, but I believe it uses tons of gas and overall is not good at all. So it's going all the way in the F tier. But anyway, those are all the current cars in a Dusty Trip. Most of them are in the F tier or the sports cars tier. So there are very few cars in the game that are actually good. But a car that you are able to get 24 seven is the flame truck car, which is probably the car that I would recommend getting. It does cost Robux but it is a game pass, so you are able to get it anytime. Most cars that we did look at were limited time cars, and you aren't able to get them anymore, but you are always able to get the flame truck, which is in the A tier. So if you don't have any of the other cars that are in the A tier besides the van, then I would probably recommend getting the flame truck and using the big wheels on it. But anyway, that is going to be all for this video, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I will see you all in the next video.